Drake takes shots at most death over alleged drug-fueled marriage. Let's talk about it. Drake has continued to hit back at most death over his recent criticism, this time jabbing the Brooklyn rapper over his alleged drug-fueled marriage. During a recent episode of We Love Hip Hop Podcast, the Toronto rapper, along with executive Kofi Carmichael, told a story about most deaf allegedly marrying a woman from the city he had just met during an ecstasy bender in 2005. Carmichael explained that the Black Star MC was in town to perform at a festival, and they bumped into each other backstage. Allegedly, man was fired fried all weekend, he said. He was popping the bowels. I'm using some terms to get around, you know, these YouTube screets, but let's just say his mind was in complete ecstasy. He was like a little candy goblin. This is what I was hearing, allegedly. I don't know who was the guy who dropped off the package to them and what was in those, but fam, it had to have him on the move. Carl Michael then claimed most deaf met a woman during his visit to, to the Canadian capital, and they got married that same weekend. I'm not saying anything about who the shorty is, because I'm going to stay respectful. But he met a shorty out here, and she wrapped his mind up. And then before you knew it, right to the city hall. The Toronto's finesse. Toronto's the best. Had that wrapped up over a weekend. Had him probably in the after hours. You know what we should do next? Let's go to city hall and get married. Yo, let's do it. And that's what he did. A book did come out around the time, 2005. So a lot of this internet stuff that y'all are going to be looking for, just go look up Most Deaf Toronto Marriage. Because there was a book written where his name was in the book. The book in question, Breaking the Code of Silence, was written by Alana Wyatt Smith, a former video vixen who appeared in Snoop Dogg's Drop It Like It's Hot video and who shares a child with Toronto rapper. In the book, she claims that she and Most Def bought an $850,000 house together shortly after their wedding. But she filed for divorce just two months later following what she described as a loud argument that got out of control. According to Carmichael, Toronto locals who knew about the incident referred to Most Def by Wayseut. So back then, from when N-Word seen that, we were like Wayseut. He said, we were using that term back then, waste man. So I can understand now why Drake, no matter how much of a legend that most deaf is, can say, I could talk to him however I want. We remember you when you were back in here, Toronto, moving like a simp. Eyes all pupiled out and dilated. Toronto mans don't rate you like that, fam. The ends who knew the end, like me, who have memory and remember those times, we don't rate you like that, fam. We look at you different from them times, he added. So to the boy who t turned from 15 years later or whatever and talks to you like a waste of you, it's because he remembers all that I'm saying. Drake came across the Instagram post and threw shade at most deaf by commenting Bohemian Rocket. The word bucket is Toronto slang for crackhead. The rift between the two rappers began earlier this month when Most Def criticized Drizzy in a recent interview calling him a pop artist and claiming his music is compatible with shopping. Drake responded by posting an old clip of Method Man explaining what hip hop is to him while writing what I'm saying again. Let me shine my light King, don't change up now, referring to Most Def. Tell me what y'all think about Drake taking shots at Most Def. Drop a little something in the comments. And don't forget to hit that like button. I'm out.